Welcome back to my channel. Stay tuned to see how I wrap these bantu knots and the end result. After making sure my hair is wet enough, I'm going to do the lock method using products from the Kinky Tresses collection. To see a review on this line, check my latest video. To start the bantu knot, I'm going to twist the entire section as if it's one big coil. You'll see me stop to detangle the ends. I really want each section to be as smooth as possible. I will continue to twist and wrap the hair around itself until it forms a knot. Hey guys, so I just got from under the dryer. I was under there for 30 minutes on low heat. And as you can see from before and now, the product dry clear. There is no buildup, which is great to know when testing out new products. I look a little crazy now, but you can see my hair is moisturized. It's extremely shiny and it's looking good. For takedown, I use an oil on my fingertips and I'm going to unwind the bantu knots in the opposite direction in which they were twisted. So this is not what I envisioned in my head. Not at all. So I slept painfully for two days for my hair to not be dry. 100% and for it to come out like a fluffy poodle. I'm going to show you what I do on a bad hair day. It's super important to make sure your hair is fully dry with this style. I thought two days for air drying would be enough, but it clearly wasn't. The longer your hair is and the more products you put in your hair will affect the drying time needed. I got a few good coils in the front, so I'm going to pull those out and make the best of this situation. Well, this did not turn out how I expected it to or had hoped that it would. This is why your girl has not done Bantu knots in damn near five years. Um, it's partially my fault because I didn't sit up under the dryer and as you can tell by the frizz, my hair wasn't 100% dry which sucks and I had this in for two days. I slept on these things in pain for two days for it to not be dry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.